Hey what's up everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the GLAD controller, which should make mobile gaming more comfortable. I'd like to welcome you all to TechYOLO! So the first thing I've noticed when I got the controller in my hand is the weird placement of the shoulder buttons. The L2 and R2 are placed like you would expect, but the L1 and R1 are placed kinda high. And this makes the switching between the second shoulder button and the first ones very uncomfortable. On a gaming console it's more natural to rest your fingers on the first shoulder buttons, but on the GLAB controller it's more natural to place them on the second shoulder buttons. The buttons are clicky and feel great as regards of the quality. They are better than I had expected, but on the other hand the controller is approximately 70 euros so they better be good. As regards of the quality, it's great for a mobile controller, but it is not close to the original controllers of the consoles like the Xbox and the PlayStation controller, which are also able to connect to your phone. So what can be the reason that one should buy this controller over any of the Xbox or PlayStation controllers? The main reason is that the phone holders which are clickable to the controller bring the center of weight to the top of the controller, which is after a while of gaming fatiguing for your hands, especially when you've got a heavy phone like me, the S20 Ultra, which is approximately 220 grams. On the GLAB controller this isn't the case, the phone is placed in the middle of the gamepad. It's like the Nintendo Switch but with better joysticks and a better grip. Like in any scenario the camera bump is a problem. The controller pushes down the screen protector of the device when you put it in. My S20 Ultra with a case fits just right in, which means that probably most of the devices will fit in. The S20 Ultra is 166.9mm long. Without a case I wouldn't recommend anyone to use this controller. Especially if you got the S20 Ultra. Another thing worth mentioning, it's not per se a bad thing about the controller, but it's more the mobile market. Some games seem to be like they are made to play with a controller, like Brawl Stars for example. But unfortunately not all games work with this controller. Not because they don't support this specific controller, but more because they have no support for any game controller at all. That's the downside of playing on mobile. And another thing I like to mention is Sony. They have a remote play app in which you can play PlayStation 4 remotely on your phone. This works great, but only when you've got a PlayStation 4 controller paired to your phone. But it doesn't work when you play with this controller. Unfortunately, the app doesn't support other controllers. I love the high sensitivity of the analog sticks. You clearly have an advantage when playing on mobile with this controller. The sensitivity though, can be annoying in some games, because these games have very sensitive controls because they are made for touchscreen so your finger doesn't go all the way to the other end of the screen, this controller has sensitive joysticks and when a game has sensitive controls it can be pretty annoying. So this can become too sensitive in some games. The games usually do not have any option to adjust the sensitivity. It would be nice if the controller had its own application to customize this so the player could change the sensitivity or even to swap the shoulder buttons because of their unnatural placement. In the end it's a controller for 70 euros, so is it worth buying? Quality wise I wouldn't recommend it in the first place because I've tested very very comfortable controllers. But there's a but, these controls are not made for mobile gaming. And even if you can connect it to your device, attaching it on a phone holder is not comfortable at all. If you're a mobile gamer and you game a lot, then this controller is definitely worth the buck. Because you're going to have a better experience, your fingers are not getting warm because of the screen anymore. You are going to have advantages when playing online for sure. And your fingers will never be in front of the game anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.